All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and get started. Today's in-depth training is on part usage cards uh, and po posting part usage cards. And what we're going to do is part usage cards are what you guys are going to use to track your actual costs. And this is, the you know, really the only way to do it. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and I already created an order as an example. So we're going to open up the order. And there's there's two ways to post part usage cards. One of them is through uh, production terminal. Um, which we have uh, already gone over and ended up training class, and that video is up on the website, uh, you know, for guys working uh, in production. Uh, today, I'm going to show you, you know, the other way through through control. So we open up an order, and we'll move over here to the parts tab, and you'll see the estimated usage for the parts, labor, uh, and equipment that control has generated. And then over here, you'll see your estimated cost, estimated usage, estimated cost, and then your actual usage and actual cost. And the way to track these is through part usage cards. So what we're going to do is go over to, and part usage cards also, when you do post the parts usage card, your actual usage, that is what is going to affect your inventory. Uh, so that's what's going to actually decrease the inventory uh, for that particular part. Uh, and the way to do this is to go up through, you'll see your dashboard, and then down to production batch. And this is a standard dashboard. And you'll see right here, We'll start by selecting your order, which was 11.05, and it's going to pull in all your line items uh, for this particular order. Now, I had already posted one just as a little uh, example for the printer, the HP, and you'll see the .2. And what we're going to do is I'll show you guys if just you can always go back and add another one. So, for instance, if it's .2, but for, for any reason you had to go back and add another point two to it. You can come in here, add, and you'll see, actually, when you select this printer, we're going to just fill columns. That's going to come in here and let me, and fill in all this information for you for, from that line item. And you scroll down, and it's just because I'm logged in as myself, uh, if someone else did this uh, and I need to post it for them, you can come in here and select an employee. Uh, it gives you the line item, the part, the part station, and then you'll see uh, date, straight time, overtime, double time. And what these are for is for, you know, if like for instance, if you're using payroll and, you know, calculating that overtime or double time rate. Uh, for right now, we'll just use the standard uh, straight time. We're going to add another point two. Uh, and the accrued, that point two accrued is from the previous usage card that had been posted. And it also gives you the estimated uh, quantity from when you first created the estimate. So we'll go ahead and, and then you'll see this option up here, the date. Uh, you can always, this is, for instance, if this happened, uh, you know, two days ago and it wasn't posted and you need to go back and backdate it, uh, you can do that through right here. So I'll go ahead and post this usage card, the additional 0.2 hours. And if we come back to our order, we'll see that the HP part has gone from 0.2 actual usage to 0.4. And you'll see this little button down here at the bottom, usage cards. Just like that, and it'll show you the usage cards for that part. Uh, so let's go ahead and post another usage card for uh, the material. We'll use the Oracle. We'll come back to our production dashboard, and this load from order button is going to give you these options right here uh, and show you the line items. So we'll come in and select the Oracle part, and then fill columns. And it'll bring all this information over here for you. Similar to the equipment usage cards that we just posted, it gives you all this information and uh, go ahead and uh, fills it in for you. Same thing, employee and whatnot. Uh, we'll go ahead. The estimated uses at nine feet, and say for instance we we had to use ten feet. Go ahead and enter ten. Come down and post. And th this straight time, uh, overtime, and double time. That's going to be for equipment time and labor time. Uh, if it's a material usage uh, card that we're posting, that's you're going to see the quantity field. So we'll go ahead and post this and come back over here to the order. And for the Oracle, and that actual usage is going to 10 feet. And this is what is going to, as I said earlier, affect the, uh, the inventory. If you, do, if you are using the inventory module, as soon as that part usage card is posted, uh, it will deduct um, from, that, from that part's uh, inventory status. All right. Uh, and just we've we've posted one for equipment and a material, so we'll go ahead and do one more for for a labor. Uh, we'll use hand cut labor. 
we'll come back to the production batch dashboard, uh, load from order, and we'll find our hand cut labor part. Check it, fill columns. All right, uh, similar, you'll see the, the quantities no, not an option since this is uh, a labor usage. So we'll go in straight and then at the bottom. Our control doesn't <laughs> seem to be uh, liking me today. Uh, estimated about 0.5, so we'll come in, say it took us a little extra time, 0.7. Go ahead and post. Come back to our order and forehand cut at 0.75 for the actual, and then giving you your actual cost as well. All right, uh, back over here on, and again, if you select your select the line item or the part rather, you'll you'll see if you have this usage card button checked, uh, it'll come up down here. So if we go down to the Oracle, you'll see the usage cards for that, and then also for the uh, for the HP, for the printer that we posted. Uh, going back to uh, the production batch, uh, the dashboard, just to show you guys some of the options. Uh, this load from order button, this is what's going to you know, let you come in here and type your order um, over here. And then the fill columns, fill columns uh, you know, by selecting this part, hitting, hitting this fill columns button, it'll come over and pull in uh, all the information for that part. If you need to add a usage card, this little green plus sign right here to add a usage card. Yeah, if you need to clone a usage card, it's going to be right here. If you need to delete one, for instance, if you know if you made a mistake or anything like that, come in here and delete, and this will clear all usage cards uh, for the order. Um, also, down here you'll see when you actually have posted the usage card, if you need to void that usage card, uh, this little check mark is like you know a common error people tend to make by coming in and checking it that that doesn't void the usage card. Uh, you'll just need to come in here, right click, and void. So if we needed to avoid one, and then that check will show. All right, a report. I want to show you guys a report that kind of goes hand in hand with this. If you come over to uh, your print, um, other detail reports, and then cost analysis by order. We'll go ahead and preview it. And this will show you the cost breakdown for this order. And you can see, you'll see the, the estimated that was generated from the from the order, and then also the, the actual the, the actual usage that we have uh, from the usage cards that you know we had gone in and posted as well. No, all right. Well, uh, thank you guys for coming.